calling American Bank. For English, please press 1. Para Español, Operma Número 2. To report a card lost or stolen, or to report suspicious activity on your account, press 1. We are experiencing heavy traffic. Please hold for the next available representative. Your call is very important. Hello, thank you for calling American Bank. This is Danny. How may I help you? Hi, um, I just saw that I got a fraudulent charge on my account. Yes, I will be happy to assist you with this, Mr. Albo. May I have the last four digits of your social security number? 1372. Thank you, Mr. Albo. Yes, it appears there has been some suspicious activity. To validate your account, I will need to confirm recent transactions over the past 24 hours. Is that okay with you, Mr. Albo? Yes. <laughs> Did you purchase a smoothie in Philadelphia today at 6 a.m. for $1.50? No. Did you purchase bubble tea in Puerto Vallarta today at 8 a.m. for zero dollars and zero cents? No. Did you purchase a chopped salad in Toronto today at the 8.30 a.m. for 37 cents? No. Okay. Yes, it seems your account has been hacked. If you will allow me to continue with your transactions over the last 24 hours, Mr. Alba, just to make sure. Yes. <laughs> Did you purchase two organic chicken breast, brown rice, and a head of broccoli at Whole Foods for $28.11 at 4.59 p.m. today? Yes, I know. So expensive. Did you purchase a bottle of wine for $11.50 at Smith Street Wine and Liquor at 5.12 p.m.? Uh, yes. Did you purchase drinks at Loco Coco Saloon for $14 at 5.35 p.m.? Uh, no. Oh, yes. So that was a date with Jeffrey. I was trying to go out with someone before I... Anyway, yes. <laughs> Did you purchase a monthly membership renewal on Grindr? Uh, uh, yes, I must have. Did you purchase a renewal membership on Scruff? Uh, uh yes. <laughs> then, at 9.30 p.m., did you purchase another bottle of wine at Vino Vino Wine Company on Atlantic Avenue? Uh, yeah. And did you do this because you didn't want the guys at Smith Street Wine to see you buy more wine on the same day? Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, wait, I, uh, and did you go home and eat while standing up at the sink? <laughs> And then, did you order Call Me By Your Name on iTunes for $7.99 and finally watch it because you have avoided watching it because as a gay man pushing 50, you don't want to get upset seeing young gorgeous men in love. Yes! And then, at the end, did you burst into tears but then go look in the mirror to see how you look when you cry, shirtless, and then purchase a Peloton membership? Yes! <laughs> Did you take a photo of your torso in the mirror because you realize your abs look good when you are heaving with tears? Did you go back to your laptop empty of emotion but still feeling a deep lonely ache? Yes. And scroll through scruff having a number of pointless conversations with headless torsos? Yes. Drinking your previously purchased wine until you were so sloshed? Yes. But still horny, so you should up to a scene from Big Dick Daddy Gangbang on Pornhub. Yes. Which features a porn star you met briefly in Provincetown, which created a slight small feeling of intimacy for once in your life. Yes. While you cried and masturbated, no one else there, just you. A low-income single gay man that no one wants to hear from in society since you are over 40 and make less than $30,000 a year. And then, did you pass out with your pants around your ankles and wake up and look at your phone and see that we, American Bank, had called to ask you about potential fraudulent purchases on your account? Yes! Yes, I did! I did! Well, Mr. Albo, it seems that your transactions are in order. We will cancel this card and you can expect a new one in 6 to 10 business days. 6 to 10? Okay. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Albo. We will very much appreciate your continued patronage at American Bank. Also, you are a drunken slut. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs>